YouTube, here we are again, back to back with another 978 Customs video. Welcome to another 978 Customs. Here we are again with another 978 Customs. Another 978, another Spider-Man Custom. Another 978. Hello, lad. Welcome to another 978. That was terrible. Shit. I'm trying again. Hello, lad. Welcome to another 978 video brought to you by Spider UK from Manchester. Bloody hell. Get on me face. Get on me face. All my wonderful people of YouTube, thanks for coming by again. I want to show you Spider Punk. Anyone who knows me knows I don't sleep. Um, usually I'm up late. It's now 4.30 in the morning. So by the time you see this video and start commenting, I'll be knocked out. I like this design. I mean, I like every design I make. I'm tired of hearing myself saying I like this design. He's a skateboard punk rocker who plays in a band. Who would expect to really like a Spider-Man like that? But I do. You know, I, I do. And I think a lot of kids do too. Especially today's world where skateboarding is a lot more popular than it was, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Um, you know, a lot of kids have gone pro just from skateboarding and making a lot of money on sponsors and stuff like that. So, you know, skateboarding's a real popular thing. And I felt like it would only be right to, to give him a skateboard. You know, and I'm not even sure if he really has one in the comic. Because in the Spider-Verse, he didn't. But I think he does. And if he doesn't, too bad. It looks great on him. But I do have a guitar for him and some hands, some accessories. But we'll get into that afterwards. Let's just get into the spider This is the Pizza Spider-Man body. And a chameleon jacket that I just painted on the outside. And on the back, I have 978 Customs. This will probably be a keeper for my collection. Um, if not, I'll just repaint another jacket. I could paint this jacket. This is Superboy's jacket. It fits really well. I had to sand out the arms in here just to make a little more room for the butterfly joints. And I was going to paint it and then add the spikes. I mean, add the spikes first and then paint it. So I'm going to clean it, take that off, add the spikes, and then paint it, and then apply it to this guy, which I think would look great. But I might save it for another punk because I have another skateboard and I have another guitar. So I think I'm going to just save these for another punk, possibly, or another uh, clone hunter because I need clone hunter again. I don't know why I got rid of them. But yeah, pizza Spider-Man body, chameleon jacket, repainted. I cut it down because Chameleon Jacket is like a, a long sports coat. comes down to about here. Here's his pocket. You can see I cut it to about the pocket line on both sides. I painted the buttons silver. It's hard to really tell. And the jacket is dry brushed. So I dry brushed this jacket, whereas I soft shaved, soft shaved, I soft shaded Cosmic Spider-Man. I don't know if you can still see the black and the blue. I really like this figure. But this one is, is um, dry shade. Dry shade, soft shade. They both look good. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so whatever you think looks good, looks good. Don't let nobody tell you different. You know what? I say that because I went to school not having the coolest sneakers and clothes, and I made all the same friends the, the dudes with the Jordans and all the popular stuff had. So it's not about what you have. It's about what you what you make of it. And I'm appreciative of that stuff, so thanks, Mom. I wasn't then. My mom used to always call me ungrateful. But suck going to school with long sleeve shirts that came up to almost your elbows and then taking school pictures, seeing them in like 6th, 7th grade, and you got Bugle Boy t-shirts that come up to your elbows that are supposed to be long sleeve. And I'm like, Mom, how could you let me? The head sculpt. This is a nice head sculpt, man. I, it was on eBay. I got it off, I think, Star Wars. Something Star Wars. I should look it up to give you the, the correct information. But it's just a head sculpt that's not painted. It's, it's plain. Uh, you know, it comes white. This one came in like a off gray. So you paint it. Oh, sorry. It was drilled. It was already drilled, so that's pretty cool. It's a lot of room in there, so you could add some paint and some seal in there to tighten it up. But so the head sculpt from some guy on eBay, I just painted it to go with a Spider-Man body. This is regular Spider-Man. 
I just took the spider logo off the chest. I just repainted over it, added a black line, covered the logo, covered most of the belt, and then redid. I don't think I redid any of it except the white lines. I think I just did the white lines. So just white lines I did. I just covered over the, the webbing with the blue paint. I'm matching a, a kind of similar blue paint that would match Pizza Spider-Man. Here we have his open hands in case he wants to skateboard and stuff. Oh, by the way, the boots. Punk. I sculpted the boots. Um, I have a video. See, but it's going to dry on me if I keep messing around. So you have little room for mistake. I mean, you can make mistakes. I, I, I start earlier than supposed to. The sculpt is still wet. Right now it's at a good good uh, molding temperature, I suppose, or whatever. But yeah, um, the boots were sculpted epoxy. I, I sculpted two pieces, the top layer and the bottom layer separately. I sanded in there, kind of. So you had to run it by again. Head sculpt from some guy on eBay. I just painted it. I think he used toothpicks. I saw someone else's video. I think he might have known the guy who made it. So he used toothpicks and then remolded it. But he might have shaved the eyes down. And then... Pull out Pizza Spider-Man. He might have shaved the eyes down and then re-sculpted some eyes because they're not Pizza Spider-Man eyes. They're a little different. He might have just cut the top off and then sculpted that one line up there. But it looks good, man. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. Cause that's how his eyes are, more sleek and like, not angry, but you know, giving you that serious look. Whereas this is more of a surprise, like a hey. See the colors, um, similar. Maybe, maybe uh, Spider Punk's a little darker, but colors pretty similar. It's Pizza Spider Man versus uh, Spider Punk. I also painted this guitar. It was um. It was orange at first. It was orange and tiger stripes. These are Guitar Hero guitars. And uh, they are actually pretty great. They fit perfect in scale with a six inch action figure. So if you're gonna, if you're thinking about making a band, then this is probably a perfect guitar. I just um, painted it all blue. Then I added red on the border. Your mother. I added red on the border and then I hit it with some um, spider webs. Try to get it to go in the same direction that the guitar lining was going. And by no means it's not perfect. I wanted to add red up here also. The good thing about these guitars, this comes off. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it because there it is. You see, it rubbed a little bit. The minute it's sealed, I just like popped it in and didn't even wait. Uh, I'm probably going to break it. But it, it looks great, man. I like the way it looks. I kind of gave it like a denim in the front, like a darker denim. You can see those little speckles. It's not It's not the best shading. It's just quick shading. I added some silver. The silver was already there, but I had to, once I painted it blue, I went over it. And then I went over it with silver again. And then another lighter metallic. I didn't paint this white. This white was already factory white. This blue is factory blue. The only thing I painted was just this bottom half. I actually swapped this white and blue with the other guitar. This white and blue goes to this guitar. And then this brown goes with this guitar. So I swapped these two necks and top pieces with these guitars. You can tell this is silver, but you can tell my silver has a little shading to it. So... I like these guitars, man. Go get them. I, I, I got them from the UK, I think. I ordered from the UK. It took about two weeks to get here, but it was worth it. 11 bucks for both of them. Now I think on eBay, it's hard to find them less than 10 bucks for one. So $11 for two was a steal. Also, we have a microphone, which originally was... So this was a flashlight originally. I don't know what figure I got it off. Actually, I do. It was um, a Walmart... Little army guys for like five bucks. They come with a bunch of guns. And you can see the on and off button. I painted just a red dot, a green dot. I was going to paint the dot down there. I'm pretty familiar with microphones. So this looks like a wireless mic. And you can hold it. You can announce himself or his band. Or his rival band, the Mary Janes. No, it's not his rival band. His skateboard. 
which is a tech deck skateboard. If you're interested, Walmart has them for like a buck fifty. I bought a couple of them. I like this one for him because it says Street Rat. And in the comic, it says something about the roaches, the rats, and the spiders. And nothing could be better than the Street Rat. It's pretty rad anyway. It has these like 80s retro look to it. My son had this Spider-Man book that had a couple stickers. And I took these Hazard Spider-Man stickers and I just stuck them on the bottom. Because they're yellow and white. Kind of blend in with this design. So... We have that. Let me just put that there. And with these hands, we have... They're not sealed. I didn't seal these hands yet. But this is a, a Doctor Strange hand. I didn't paint the inside because he's going to be gripping the guitar, rubbing it in and out. So I just might as well not paint it. You won't see it in pictures anyway. But it's a Doctor Strange hand. I was wondering what I could use this for. And it came in handy. Too bad I cut the other one up. I cut the fingers off to try to use it for something else. But then it looked like a deformed hand. So I ended up tossing it out. But this one came in handy. The paint is not as clean as I'd like it to be. I kind of did it last minute. I almost forgot. And I was like, damn it, let me get those hands in before I don't want to do them. And this was a daredevil hand. And I didn't even paint it red. I just painted this, the webbing over it. And this is great for the microphone. He can hold the microphone with this. He can hold the guitar with this too. And he can hold the guitar with this. And then also... This is a pretty useful hand right here. This one hand is three in one, right? It's a whipping hand. It's a guitar holding hand. And it's a punk rock devil horns thing. If Hasbro is going to make this, please, Hasbro. I know this is a lot. It seems to be a lot. A figure, a skateboard. But look, we don't. you gave Deadpool everything but the kitchen sink. So we only ask... Give us the most important parts. Accessory. I mean, I guess we can get our own skateboards. I'm going to leave that out because Hasbro, I don't want to call you cheap. Everyone else calls you cheap. I got your back. I understand how things work and you can't really put every egg in one basket. So I'm going to just slide this out for you guys, for your sake. But we want this. We want this. We also want these hands. We want to swap hands for the guitars. and We don't want a microphone, but if you want to give us one, we take it. We really don't want a microphone. We'd rather take this over that. I don't know, Hasbro. Just give us the guitar. At the least, give us the guitar. We can find our hands. Don't be an ass and make these arm joints different where we can't pop a piece of Spider-Man hands in. That would be pretty dumb. You probably would do that just on purpose. Just give us the same arms, the same sculpt, you know, let us pop in our own hands. Just give us these two. Forget about this. Matter of fact, I take it back now. Hasbro, when you give us punk, give us those. That's it. This is all we want. The figure, a cool jacket. Not that jacket. But because you don't want to spend any money, if you don't want to spend no money, give us that jacket. Replace it. Cut it. If not, give us a cool jacket like this. A cool jacket, guitar, and a skateboard. And we'll be happy. Having all those accessories makes it really fun to pose. And that's what the intro was about. The intro was just coming up with a couple quick different poses that I had fun with. And looked pretty cool. You know, when you have this awesome guitar that matches him. And a skateboard. The poses are endless. I mean, I took a couple pictures before he was sealed. And some people noticed. And they were like, damn, man, fresh off the painting board. I'm like, I know, I'm just excited. I want to hurry up and show the world. Spider-Punk and Cosmic Spider-Man. Two awesome Spider-Verse figures. As you can see, I'm trying to build my Spider-Verse. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't be afraid to give me your thoughts. How could you have made this better? What would you incorporate it into it? Would those spikes made a difference? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z.